Maldemar's Love is a concept album that tells the story of former First Lady of the Philippines, Imelda Marcos. It's written by music legends David Byrne and Fatboy Slim, and it was adapted into a rock musical which premiered off-Broadway in New York City. We are joined now by Colleen Davis and Villette, who star in the Kiwi version of the stage show. Welcome to you both. Hi. Really nice to have you here. First of all, um, what the, the description of the show is a staggering line of Aotearoa's fiercest divas. How does that feel to be in that description? Um, <laughs> feels great. It's yeah. 100% true. <laughs> yeah. No, it's awesome. It's uh, We've really enjoyed uh, all our voices mixing together because we're all really different yeah. kinds of singers and um, we've, we've just discovered that there's like this sort of magical chemistry. Well, yeah, and I'm really excited because I didn't know that this musical existed, so I'm pl so pleased you are part of the team that's putting it on in New Zealand, which is going to be amazing. I want to find out a bit more about you guys, though. So, Valette, tell us about your music. You're a producer and a singer-songwriter. Yes, so I've been producing Making Beats for about two or three years now. Nice. Uh, and singing, songwriting since I was about 12, but uh, doing something like this is quite different for me. I haven't done theatre since high school, really. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I bet it's different. And Colleen, you, um, you act as well as sing, and you were in the stage production of Daffodils, Daffodils. which wow. is one of my all-time favourite things. I saw you on that, and it was just oh, awesome. magical. It made me look at Dave Dobbins' song, Language, in a completely different way. That's just beautiful, and that's being made into a feature film, obviously, mm -hmm. later this year. Um, what was it like working on the stage show? Well, we did this. We did the one show for three years. Um, toured in New Zealand and uh, Australia, and went to Edinburgh. It was an incredible experience. I mean, it was it was a big part of my life, and um, now I wish all the best to the people taking it to the screen. Yeah, it's going to be good, isn't it? Uh, now, another big part of your life, of of course, here lies love. A concept album written by some great people. Uh, but now it's going to be in a stage show. So what do you think drew David Byrne and Fatboy Slim to this? How did it all come about? Do you know the history? Yeah, yeah, we've, we've done mm -hmm. a bit of research. Yeah. But before we go any further, I should say that it's, it's just the concert. It's not the musical. Yeah. It's not a... There is a musical that's been done on Broadway, and mm -hmm. we are just presenting... The album, so it's brilliant. A gig. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. So, like no a full-on concert. Yeah. yeah, no, full we wouldn't concert. want we wouldn't want to portray Imelda Marcos because we're not, you know, we're not people from we're not Filipino yeah. and, but but if we're, it's a celebration of the music that David mm -hmm. Byrne and, and Norman Cook wrote. So what mm. on earth did they do to get together? I mean, I didn't know they even knew each other for starters, uh, and how did they go, Imelda Marcos? Yeah. Let's do a concept album. I mean, how did it come about? Well, well uh, David Byrne was actually really fascinated by Imelda Marcos, so I think it started with uh, her shoe collection and he was just wanting to do a concept album and Imelda Marcos uh, was just so fascinating he was able to pull together a whole album um, that stuck to the theme. So it wasn't just one song, uh, it was a whole album that was able to go through her journey. But how does it work? Is it like I'm Imelda Marcos and these are my shoes? It's, or I mean, <laughs> it's sort of like a biography, and, okay. and, and, and instead of it being a, a, nov, a novel or a book, it's it's in song form. So it takes key uh, key moments from her biography and transforms them into song. And there's actually there's there's some songs are from the perspective of Imelda, and some songs are. The, from the perspective of um, a woman oh, whose last name I just forget called Australia, who uh, actually brought Imelda up mm. and who remained poor, who Imelda actually pretended not to know later oh, in wow. her life. Because yeah. she was quite a, con you know, she was a quite a contentious figure, wasn't she? So I suspect that makes yeah. her some great songs. <laughs> yeah, no, it does. and she remains yeah. she remains contentious. Just mm -hmm. this week, um, she's been prosecuted for graft. Yeah, yeah. corruption, isn't it? It's yeah, 11 crazy. years she's facing in prison. Now, the original album um, was released in 2010, wasn't it? And who was on it? Um, Tori Amos, Florence Welch from Florence and the Machine, wow. um, Cindy Lauper, yes. some really big names. So who, who are you joined on stage with? What's happening with you guys? Well, we've got Jennifer Ward Leland. Yes. And Rhea Hall. Yes. And, um, and Sarah, Sarah. Nessia, yeah. yeah. Well, that is a powerhouse yeah. of some yeah. blind divas in New Zealand, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, and really different, really, really different. I mean, I, I have a, I come from a background of, uh, my music background is blues music and jazz, and then I happen to sing. But Jennifer Ward Leland is is really one of the great mm. actresses of the New Zealand stage. So, yeah. um, 
it's and then and then you yeah. have a really different practice. Yeah. So yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. But did you you know did you get to choose the songs that you get to sing or? No, I think they were kind of divvied up between us. Uh, but the cool thing is, is that uh, for me anyway, the songs that I sing, I have a real connection to. So it wasn't. It wasn't just here, take the song, right. try and sing it. I think we all connect to our songs on a really personal level. Yeah. Um, and just working with four other talented women as well, there's so yeah. much to, especially for me, there's a lot to learn from, from like Jennifer and yeah, Sarah and Colleen. It's, it's been really crazy. So what's your favourite song that you sing? <laughs> Solano Avenue. And what's that about? Uh, it's about Estrella and she uh, is just pretty much pleading with Imelda to, to just acknowledge her on the street because she's been kind of abandoned by Imelda once, once Imelda mm. kind of went into the rise, I guess. Yeah, Imelda, Imelda kind of pretended mm. that once she was in power, she pretended that her old life of poverty hadn't existed yeah. and she yeah. kind of tried to rewrite it. I remember that. Mm. Weird. Yeah. Oh, look, really this is weird. such a great concept because it's a, a fascinating piece of history but being presented in song which I love. I know it's not a musical but I, I guess you've got a set. So what is it? I'm kind of imagining Studio 54 type looking set. Is that how it works? The set's pretty amazing. Yeah, eh? it's quite amazing. So yeah. lots of lights and... So lots of lights. Lots, lots of, of light. twinkling lights <laughs> and flowers. It's just it's like an explosion of beauty. Mm -hmm. It's going to be amazing. Mirrors on the floor. Mirrors on really? The floor. Oh, yes. crikey. So what do you wear? That, <laughs> so that brings up a whole world of problems. Um, she was really into the uh, nightlife, wasn't she? She loved She loved the nightlife. She had a, she she had a mirror ball installed in her, um, in her apartment <laughs> in New York. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it was crazy. New York, yeah. Okay, and live band, because I think my mate Robin Kelly is involved with this. Is he the musical director? Yes, yeah. he is. Oh, he's brilliant. Great. So yeah. he's, got all, he's got a live band. We've got all these great songs, mm -hmm. a bit of history, yeah. and all being presented by some incredible New Zealand woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the band is amazing. We've just been yeah. really, really, really enjoying working with the band. They mm -hmm. just bring everything like up to life, and yeah. I, people will be dancing. I know you're um, itching to get this on stage, aren't you? Sounds, yeah, I can yes. feel it. It just <laughs> sounds yeah. so, so very good. Yeah, it's going to be a stunning bombastic. cast. Yeah, yeah, nice <laughs> yeah. work. Okay, Excellent. Great work. Hey, well, a pleasure chatting with you both. Thanks for having fierce us. Fierce divas. A whole lot of fierce mm. di divas from Aotearoa. I'm um, really looking forward to seeing the show, actually. Here Lies Love plays at Auckland's Q Theatre from this Thursday until the 8th of December. You can check out the Q Theatre website for tickets.